What is good, guys? Mom for the Kid here, back again, and welcome back to non comic book lineup. We are, we are, my back. We are down to the line of this season, and with only three more episodes left for the season, who could be the last three teams? Well, I will allow, I acknowledge that we're gonna go around two with the team I've done before on this series. I usually will always do a round two for a team I've done before, but today we are looking at the team, the young team of, from DC, Young Justice. And I'm not talking about the TV series. People, you have to remember that the cartoon series that you guys have been watching from Cartoon Network over to HBO Max came from a legit comic series called Young Justice. This series came out roughly around the time of Death and the Return of Superman, Impulse, Tim Drake Robin, Superboy joined forces and started the team. Uh, along, of course, came Cassie Sandsmart, aka Wonder Girl, when she was still looking a little bit like more like your stereotypical nerdy character with her black hair and glasses there have been a lot of different members even a kid lobo when he was on the team there have been many different variations of the team but mostly they have always can considered of impulse superboy wonder girl and tim drake Robin. uh but in the meantime we're here to check out my my list of Young Justice. We are here to see who would I put together on my non comic book lineup of Young Justice. You guys know the rule. I don't need to reply the rules anymore. You've seen this series enough. But let's get into the team. My team is a matter, is a team of eight. I've decided to wean it down to eight members because throughout the history of the team have been there have been abundance of heroes. Some have left, some have gone, but there have been more than eight. So I'm going to continue with eight. And we're going to start off with the leader of uh, the leader of the team. Who would lead my non-comic book lineup of Young Justice? And that team leader is Shikamaru. From Naruto. I know what you're probably saying. Whoa, really, Chris? He was lazy. He didn't want to do anything. But if you continue to watch the series and read the manga, Shikamaru grew into a damn good leader that he didn't want, but sometimes the best leaders are those who just fall into it. Shikamaru did. He fell into it very well. And people, many of the teachers, saw his intelligence as well and hell even when naruto became okage who was his advisor shikamaru shikamaru makes is my leader number two on the list is tai lee from the avatar universe i love tai lee i i i never understood why she was truly with azula and all them because her her personality was so different, but she was a damn good, scary, hand-to-hand -hand combatant. And of course, with the chi blocks, and she would, you know, that was just scary to see her do, and, but also be smiling when she's fighting. So it was kind of also like, okay, this kind of a devious warrior behind that smile, but everything about her was so different from May and Azula. And if you just look, you're like, She's a good fighter, but why is she with them? Why? But yes, Ty Lee would make up my number two. She's a great combatant, indeed. Number three on the list is Stretch Armstrong. Yes. Now, Netflix introduced Stretch, Arm Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Warrior, Flex Fighters. I watched that series and I was like, okay, I like this new take on this classic character 
of Stretch Armstrong. He was younger. They made it feel a little bit more like he was a high school student with these stretching powers. He made stretching powers cool. And I was like, yeah, that, that works. And I always like elastic powers. I've always liked that with characters. Um, it's, it's really cool. You, you never, you can, for example, let's say you're free falling and you have no parachute and you got elastic powers. You can just make yourself into a, a parachute. No problem. Things like that was always cool. And I really enjoyed that with elastic powers. And we've seen that throughout the history of comics. There have been many characters who have elastic, elongated powers and they've done some things. But then I would say Luffy from uh, One Piece took it to a whole new level with his ability, his elastic abilities. So, but shouts out to Luffy for that, I'm saying. But yeah, Stretch Armstrong makes the list number three. Number four on the list, one of my favorite characters from my hero, Robbie. Ah, uh, Tazuya. <laughs> Tazu. Uh, I love her. I, 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 don't get me wrong, guys. I love my Deku and all that, too. But Frothy, I love so much. She is just, she is straightforward. She will tell it like it is. And if she likes you, she likes you. If she don't, she'll tell you straight up. And you would think, oh, she's got, like, frog-like power. So what? What, what can that do against somebody whose quirk is a lot powerful? We've seen that in the show, people underestimate her and she's been able to get a lot of her friends out of hairy situations with her powerful legs when she jumps out of the way, whether it's her strong high kicks she can deal with, she is just great. I love her every time I see people dress up as Froppy. I'm so happy and I always say, Froppy, can I get a pic? It's so good. Gotta show some love to Froppy. Come on. Number five on the list. I needed a speedster. Speedsters are always good on a team. And I was looking, I'm like, okay, what? Who's a non-comic book speedster I can think of? And the only one that came to my mind is Dash. Yes, this would be really cool to see Dash kind of jump out of the family aspect and join another team of young heroes. Just saying. Dash is great. Dash is cool. We don't, we only know he's probably going to get faster the older he gets, but as of right now, Dash is cool. Number six on the list, we go to the world of Danny Phantom. Uh, I love having Danny I would love to have Danny a part of this team because his ghost powers are cool. He's cool. We see that his powers evolve every, all the time from this to that. And uh, I was thinking about when I was putting this team together, I was like, okay, we got certain aspects, but we need another team, another character that could probably do reconnaissance or something. But I'm like, yeah, Danny works. So, Danny yeah, yeah. Number seven. Now this one may may be interesting because I'm not a lot, sure a lot of people ever watch this watch this uh, anime or even or even read it. And the main character is uh, Yoshimori uh, Sumi uh, Sumimura uh, from the anime series or manga series Kakashiki. Uh Basically, these were they're like exorcists that keep the world safe from demons. And what they do is use this kind of magic, as they call it, called cube magic. And basically the character, uh, Yoshimori, he, he would put these characters in like a little cube and go, cats, cat, and they'll blow up. Um, his, his power was great, but his accuracy was a little off. Not like his childhood friend, but he was, he was always the main character and he would always showcase that when it came to sheer strength and just combating against the threats of evil, he had no bounds and he was, he was just a cool character. A little headstrong, but a cool character. And last but not least, we go classic. I needed pure strength on the team. I needed somebody who was the muscle of the team 
And I went with the classic character from Hanna-Barbera, Young Samson. So yeah, I needed that muscle, I needed the strength. And as you all know, Young Samson, back in the day, when our parents were kids, there was a TV, Hanna-Barbera's superheroes and all that, they was a character called Young Samson. And he, he was a young boy and he would hit these rings together and he would become the, the young embodiment of the biblical character Samson. His dog name, uh, I forgot his dog's name, Goliath. Would, if he hit it again, his, his little dog, his dog would become this giant super lion. It was really cool. Uh, if you don't go read, look on YouTube, you'll find it. But that makes up my team of young, of young justice. That's my team, my non comic lineup of young justice. What did you think? Did you like it? Please leave your comments in the section down below. But as always, don't forget, give me your picks. If you want to stay even with eight members, do it. Doesn't matter. But I love to hear it. Uh, but outside of that, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Two more episodes to go for season three. And then we move on to season four of non comic book lineup. Uh, what is the next episode? Well, I can tell you the team where 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 the team where it comes from it comes from DC. We're gonna continue with DC and uh, can't tell you anymore, but I will say they, they're sentinels. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but outside of that, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Deuces.